Hello and welcome to a tutorial in CS4001, the Foundation Engineering and Rock Mechanics. In this tutorial, I'm going to guide you how to identify the intersection between two planes. So in this problem, we have two planes. The first one has a deep direction is 42 degree and the deep angle is 52 degree. The second one has a deep direction of 124 degree and the deep angle of 70 degree. We are going to use stereo net to identify the intersection line between them. In the first step, we are going to mark the north and the east. So when we rotate our chasing paper, it will not influence on our analysis. And then we identify the deep direction of the first joint and rotate it to the east. Now we can count from the boundary by the deep angle to find the deep point. Is it 52? And we can chase by the great circle to draw the plane. I always rotate to the east so I can avoid the sharp tack at the middle. Now we can rotate it back to the north and we can mark the joint at joint number one. And we can repeat for the second joint set, which is 124. We rotate it to the east and count in 70 degrees to find the deep point. And then we can chase by the grid circle to have the second plane. After that, we can rotate back to the north and mark the new joint set as J2. Now we can find the intersection point right here and we draw a line from the center to this point. It will be our intersection line. To get the deep angle and deep direction, we need to rotate it to the east and mark the deep directions. We also can count from boundary to find that the deep angle is 50 degree and we go back to the north to see what is the deep directions. It is about 61. And that is our answer. Now we are going to use the deep tune intersection calculator to calculate the intersection line. First of all, we put approximately the two planes and then we change the parameters to the desired value. This is 52, 42, 70, 124. So we can see now the answer is 60 and 51, which is close to the answers by hand. In the exam, you have three degrees of tolerance. Thank you very much for your attention and see you in the next tutorial.